More than three years after the Supreme Court's decision in Mayo and Alice, the PTO and the courts still struggle with determining what is patentable subject matter. Although the Federal Circuit has issued a few decisions to try to provide some clarity in certain factual scenarios about what is patentable subject matter, a few IP organizations have suggested proposed legislation to provide more clarity to practitioners, the PTO, and the courts in determining what is patentable subject matter and addressing the challenges in applying the ALICE two-step framework. The Intellectual Property Owners Association, the American Intellectual Property Law Association, and the Intellectual Property Section of the ABA have all proposed legislation to change 101 to help clarify the ALICE two-step framework. All three proposals provide for the same patent-eligible subject matter categories, which include a process, a machine, manufacture, and composition of matter, in addition to the improvements in those categories. Also, the three proposals call for keeping the utility requirement, which means that an invention must be useful. The three proposals eliminate the requirement from Section 101 that the invention be new. This is in response to an ongoing debate about whether Section 101 should be a low hurdle or a high hurdle. The proposals confirm that questions regarding novelty are not appropriate to be considered in the context of assessing patent subject matter eligibility. In fact, each proposal expressly forbids the use of other patentability considerations found in the Patent Act, such as Sections 102, 103, and 112. 